Hey everyone, welcome back, Deft here. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. We just finished wave 14 or day 14 going into day 15 wave. Uh, we didn't have any issues. We've upgraded and added trap modifiers, pretty much everything except for the four. So now we've put the solid damage on the crushers, the front ones, you all saw that on the one episode, we upgraded those. Everything has been upgraded to metal on the traps, but we still need to add power. They are definitely using up a lot of it, our charges on the front here. Uh, giants are coming more and more, like every other day or so. Then we also need to get our guns up, we need to upgrade our batteries. And we're running out of storage space. As you can see, I've got two chests up here. Uh, we need to make a video on coils, but before that, I want to do some rearranging on this part of the base, and then I want to start expanding. I really don't know if I even want this part of the base, but uh, kind of <laughs> it's kind of where we're operating out of, so we don't have much choice. Uh, so I need to move this one chest that's actually in my way, so I'll probably end up actually getting rid of both of these. Should have enough space to just demo it, so let's grab everything inside of it. Do a quick demolish. And, you know, on that wall. <laughs> Always double check what you're demolishing. It's fine though, it's just the wall, it's no big deal. Alright, so I know I've got a couple of workbenches we need to get built. So this one, the equipment workbench was over here in this corner. I moved it here because it would take up less space on the corners, or on this other walls, and these benches don't get upgraded, these two. And we had to rotate the electronics bench to fit it in there. Alright, so, so we already got the mechanical workbench. We need, I know we need the equipment modification workbench. And the, the material production workbench, we need that because I destroyed it. And it's actually this cra this uh, crafting workbench. Let me grab some iron. Man, we need to put that wall back in too. <laughs> is that a window wall or is that a normal wall? What is a window? I don't care. We're not going to put a window back there. We're going to put a solid wall. Go ahead and upgrade it if we can because we don't want it to burn down. Now we can get back to trying to squeeze all the workbenches into here. Hey, right, which one did I want? I wanted... Pretty sure this is the one, and I just used it the last of my lumber. Okay, fifth time is the charm, you guys. Okay, here we go. So, I was trying to rearrange everything to where we can actually have some space for storage. So, I think I'm going to just put it this way. Probably not the best looking thing in the world. Now, what do we need to upgrade these? Oh, because I want to go and get all the benches upgraded to max. So, we're going to need iron and brick plastic and nails and I did a lot of mining so we've got a ton of brick and cement and stuff right now and like I said it's time to expand the base okay now we need to get a fuse some electronic device iron plates and copper wire in a minute we'll just have a little bit of everything on us so why not perfect okay so that bench is fully upgraded that's gonna allow us to, to make pretty much anything and everything that we want. I actually didn't need to full upgrade that because that's just for all of the in-game items. But it'll work out. We can make our pesticides and everything else now. I would like to get that other chest put back into place. So we need to come here. I guess you'd let me put you in sideways, right? Or do we need to... See, like, our storage situation is terrible right now. I'd like to move that other workbench over, too. Uh, let's see, where can I just stash this? Right here, perfect. Because we're running out of space. <laughs> yeah, we're going to probably max upgrade this to fit everything back inside of it. And this is where we housed all the fish, bones, skins, scales. All of our feathers. I just put nails in there. Like I said, it's really, <laughs> it's really nice if you get everything set up before... Like you get a good base plan before you start laying everything out. Or you need like me and end up having to move. I don't know if we can hold this crate. This crate's packed. I guess we'll find out in a second. Let me see if we can't store. What kind of crate has space in it right now? Here we go. This will work. Let's put these coils in here. That should give us enough room. Now we'll, let's try to grab the food crate. And everybody say a prayer. <laughs> Okay, that worked. And we're going to demolish. Because I really want to move this. I'm, t I'm tired of tripping over my workbenches in here. Hopefully we have room. I'm going to demolish this one. And that would be the... 
believe it's this one that we just yep this is the one we just got rid of so we're going to set this right here and then i'll be confused for the next week <laughs> trying to figure out where i'm going to craft everything again so let's get upgrade Yeah, now we can craft all the fancy stuff. From there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, technically seven benches. So what are we missing? I feel like we're missing one. We just did that one. We've got that one. We just rebuilt that one. That one is behind us. The equipment modification workbench. I do not think we have that one made yet. We're going to need to rebar for that. And then we should be good in here. I think this one's fairly small. So we can squeeze it somewhere. <laughs> like I also kind of want to flip the cooking station into this corner and put the research table back over there. Things to do. I guess we can set this outside for now. So equipment. Well, I don't want to put it out here because I plan on upgrading. Where did you go? I mean, this one's not very large. I don't want to block the door because I need the motorcycle to be able to get in and out. I don't want to block the chest. See, that was the problem. I couldn't even get... Can't even get around in here. What if I can unlock it and there we go. That works better. We'll just unlock it. Kind of want to leave space to get walk in between and around. Let's, let's try it like right there. If it gets in the way from now, we'll we'll move it. So now I can just walk all around and get to everything. And, and this one doesn't have to be upgraded. This is where we're actually going to make all of our coils. Uh, you can recycle gear here. I don't really care to do that. It seems like a waste of time. Unless there's something I'm missing, somebody let me know in the comments. Like, that one looks ugly. It needs to be flipped, too, but... <laughs> gonna live with it. It's trying to save space because of the way things were laid out before. Now then, we need to get all of our food crates back down and find a home for, the all, for all that nonsense. Alright, we'll give me a research table. We're gonna go ahead and pull you apart. Take apart our cooking station. Hopefully this gives us more space to work with. We gotta upgrade this thing. Set upgrade. And then squeeze the research table back into here somewhere. Why are you not snapping? Okay, so I feel like that takes up a little bit less room. Now then, there's really nowhere left for me to put chests. I should have put these things long ways. Now I don't, have, now I don't really have space for it. I could just rotate and flip some of this. <laughs> so if, I mean, I think we can cook from this side if I have to. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I do want to get rid of these stairs and move them into that corner most likely. So many things to do. It's a little time. So let's get our food stored up into here. Or most of our food. I'm going to keep some out from just to eat. Man, it, it just feels so much cleaner. <laughs> so much cleaner in here. Uh, except for right here. This is pr still pretty tight. Alright, we need to do some research and try to get rid of... Or try to make some more space. So let's grab books. I, don't, I actually don't even know what we need to research right now. What were we working on? I think we are on combat pretty much. This would be useful... Okay, so like senior blacksmith, senior chemist, that type of stuff would, be, would come in handy right now. Let's just grab our books. I might just do combat. Then we can just run through the houses that much faster. Okay, research table. How much is Car Thief anyways, since it's a useless skill? 320? Yeah, that's way too expensive to be wasting points on. Quantum circuit. I kind of wanted to get that. Just, let's do blacksmith first. That way we can upgrade our gear all, all the way to plus 10. And somebody reminded me in comments, I, I need to get your name the next time I go over it. Uh, the reason the fishing pole can't go above plus 3 is because it's normal gear. So normal, can on, I guess, can only go to plus 3. Uh, the blue gear, I think, can only go, would only go to plus 6 at that point. And then you need the, the legendary yellow gear to go to, to take it to plus 10. And that applies to, like, all your gear. So uh, whoever told me that in YouTube, thank you. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll look your name up and try to 
override it onto the actual video itself. Okay, so we're getting low on points like always. We did find another graduation book, so that's awesome. But we need two to move that up some more. We could do ranged weapon damage plus 5%. I usually normally like to just walk down the center first, but we'll see. I'm trying to decide what to do. Kind of want to go for the V12 motors. Trap modification, railgun ammo. What do I need? I don't even know what we still need books for at this point. Master technician, do I still need your book? It's in the psych hospital. Which again, I think that's right down the street from where we're currently at. Oh, I kind of want to do vehicle engineer though, so we can just ride down the roads, and gank and stuff. Okay, we're gonna go. For, we're gonna go for combat points. Why not? So damage plus eight. Range weapon damage plus six. Why not? Do we get range weapon aim speed, reload weapon speed? Can't do master blade, lieutenant. Let's research that. Captain. And we're out of points. Well, at least we've got rid of some books, even though I'm still holding on to all the duplicates. We really need to go through all of our gear and go through all the coils, which I think I'm going to try to go through the coils on the next short video and just go over how to destroy them. Like I said, it's all done on this workbench. You can scrap them for their clay, build them how you want. Now, we need to get some power up here, though. And to do power and everything else, I wanted to start building this level up more. So let's go ahead and demolish this. I really got to start paying better attention to what's highlighted. And we'll get rid of this light too. Let me think. We need to also probably just go ahead and knock these walls out. I mean, so the base has been holding fine. We've had no issues on this front side. We really should just be upgrading on our power. But you never can be too safe. Okay, so like I said, I like to build up to the next level. So what we need to do is give them a path around us, which I probably don't have enough materials on, I do not. And while we're on the subject of workbenches, I wonder if I have enough to build. Probably not. The like gardening and stuff, that's what we actually need to do <laughs> before we finish renovating the base. So we'll need manure, small stone leaves nails and wooden planks and we're also going to want to plant some tree farms now all the farms are pretty good but these are the ones you primarily need to advance in the game and i've been talking about these for a while so let's go ahead and knock some of these out so i'll grab some small stone and one more item out of our food crate which will be the manure so i've been telling you how to save this for a while and this is why uh, the gardens can probably go down right here they seem to be yeah they're, they're pretty cool with being built anywhere i'm gonna put everything over here though you see, we'll see some food. We'll just jump the ledge. So I'm gonna put all my my gardening items over here. We're gonna back up just a little bit for explosive people. I don't know if these can burn or not. I haven't tested that. Kind of don't want to test that. <laughs> Alright, so this is a standard farm right here. You're gonna need a couple of these. Uh, this is gonna produce things like cabbage and some other specialty vegetables for cooking we think we've got one two three four five how are we doing on mats let's go ahead and put some tree farms by these two again the tree farms we're going to need those for growing tree farms always seem finicky to me to get placed it's like they're too low they're too high they're never happy because I'd, I'd rather place them on the ground like this but they don't a lot of times they don't like that i really don't want them as high as that one though Try this. Definitely gonna want to get a couple of tree farms up and running. These will give us the pears that we need for the cold drink. And you won't get it every time. It's pretty random. One, two, three, four, five. I'd like to have ten to be honest. And see, like right there, we're too low. <laughs> Maybe we can put it on the other side and make it right. Or not. Fine. We'll do that. And let's get some more of these put in. 
it's gotta just be this ground that that I'm on. Stuff just does not want to build right here. Seven, eight, niner, and material deficient. What do we what are we out of? Small stone, of course. Let's grab two or three of these really fast. And this should help with the seed problem of where we should have enough seeds. So on gardening, there's multiple levels of this. So like this one's level one. We can go ahead and plant that. We can upgrade it by pressing T. And we're going to need branches and fertilizer for that. I actually should have put some stairs in. Make life easy. Okay, so as you saw the gardens, to upgrade those, we need manure. We need manure, fertilizer, natural pesticides. Uh, we actually don't, well, we've got manure on us already, so we don't need that. We need to go ahead and make some fertilizer, though. So that's going to take manure. Uh, the animal fat, animal intestines, and vines, which I think I just used all my vines. Good job, me. Let's see if we have any left over here. All right, we've got a couple, so we'll see what we can get done with that. We need to grab all the animal fat that I've been telling you to hold on to. And the intestines. Which we're low on that too. Probably gonna might maybe have to double our traps up. So let's go ahead. We can make some fertilizer. So I have ten traps. Let's go make ten of these. Or ten gardens. Now for the natural pesticides, we need the herbs. I doubt I have enough of those. You have only got I only have seven. So save those when you find them. Like I said, hopefully you've been doing like like I've been doing and just hoarding everything. Alright, so natural pesticides, we'll just max craft that. And the fertilizer, let's make seven more of those. And we're gonna head back over there and see how far we can get now. So we already planted this one. But let's go get our wrench back out, see if we can't upgrade it. So as you upgrade it, the same thing as the fish pond. It allows more and different vegetables and varied vegetables to grow. So it goes to the stick form, then we'll upgrade it again. And it, that's its final form. So we'll plant this one and then upgrade. And same thing, we just rinse and repeat all the way down for as far as we can get with what we currently have. Now these are our tree farms, so it's the same thing. This takes one manure and one seed. We're actually going to go and plant this one. These are the ones I'm more worried about. Just trees, the trees to me seem to take longer to get what you need. So that's planted. There's no upgrading this. You just plant it and you get what you get. At least that's how, how it seems to work in my opinion. All right, so we ran out of manure and everything else. So we went ahead and gathered up some more seeds, vines, branches, just by cutting down the little bushes really fast. It gave us some more of these herbs too. So we're going to make, uh, I can't remember how many of these we needed. I think one more. And then we needed what, like two more fertilizer. Well, I'll have to recount that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Can I build another staircase? So <laughs> we'll demo it in a second. It'll just make life faster. Stop having to run around this. So the tree farm's going along nicely. They're starting to grow. All these are growing up. So we sow our seed again. It takes one manure, one seed. Let's get a wrench back out. Can we do any upgrades? Actually, I'm going to start from this side. If I can, I'd like to take all these to tier three. Because like I said, it's random what you get back. All right, so we need more natural pesticide. We're gonna need at least one more of those, or three more of those. And then we should have all maxed out gardens. Oh, those are all maxed up, max upgraded to tier three. They're growing now. The trees, like I said, they're growing. Hopefully we get pears off of those and cabbages off of these. Then we can get our cold brew ready to head into the cold zone because that's where we need to go next for books. Uh, from there, I know I'm kind of all over the place today on this episode. We need, to, it's just because we have to get everything ready. So from here, we need to upgrade our batteries. I just want to make sure our back wall is safe. So with that, let's go ahead and I've already built a bunch of motors. I've got 31 motors made. Make sure we have space. Let's put all these. I, I did a bunch of skinning on the traps. So let's put those skins away. And let's see what we need for the battery upgrades. So we'll get our wrench back out. T for upgrade. We need pulse transformers and electric plates, one each. So we have five batteries. 
And so this is going to increase how much power can flow through them and how much power they store. All right, so we've got circuits, we've got plugs. Uh, whatever, we'll just grab that, this in case we need it. We can build more batteries, which I plan to do. And I also plan to build more windmills, but I did say we needed electric plates. We need five of these. And we needed pulse transformers, we need more iron, more copper. Let's grab some iron ore and smelt that. Oh, I forgot I built stairs right here. <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> I don't know why I built them the way I did. Let's go ahead and demo these before we get too much company. And we'll build them a little bit offset. Not that we're going back up and down that much. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade this one. So they change forms. You can tell they're upgraded. You're going to see a ton of power. They're going to look like they're empty. Because <laughs> they, they can hold so much more. So if we're going to upgrade those, we also should probably upgrade these fours, four trap ones. Pretty sure we can upgrade those. Can I not? I swear these could be upgraded. Alright then, <laughs> we're going to give that a go and see how that works. So our gun should be good to not explode the batteries now. The next thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to expand on, expand upon the base. And where we're going to add power. Like I said, I kind of want to put the power under us. We can put it around us. I just don't want a ton of these wind turbines. Because they will drop frames. And I'm trying to avoid that. And we also do not want to build them where the giants are going to path. Because a lot of mobs will just target this area. And come right... <laughs> they'll go straight for whatever building is right in front of them. So when we start expanding off of this, we're going to use the open foundations. And leave them high. So that zombies can walk underneath. We also do not want to... We want to leave gaps on both sides so that all the zombies can still fall down. So if I want them to path to me, that's kind of why I don't like this building because now I'm not going to be able to just chill in here and build because they'll come straight down this path to us. But we, I want to put a trap here and finish this part out. And then from there, I guess we'll let them walk right here. How much do we have on us? We have plenty to build out. And I usually like to build up to where there's a, the row goes on top of our traps. So to do that, let's just say... Is that going inside the building? I don't like that. Much just because of the walls right there. Alright, so we'll leave the gap. And then we're going to head this way. And from there we can expand. The well, last time I did this, I would I expanded up right here. I'm trying to visualize how I want to <laughs> do this because they, it's they're bad about getting stuck here if I do it the way I normally do it. And I want to put some more traps right. Here. I know I want to put some more right here on this. So I want to put uh, one electric trap on each side right there. I want to do the big pulse light beams. And that way if they get hung up here, we can just turn those on and it should wipe them out. So if that's the case, we'll put a, we can put a staircase right here. Probably going to have to get rid of, <laughs> rework this item because it's going to definitely be in the way. Let's see, can we put a staircase here? Will that make any sense? I'm going to put one in over here. That way they can run underneath here. They should come straight up and can restart the circuit. From there we need to make sure we have concrete bricks on us. So let's go ahead and get that rounded up. And then we're also going to grab a bunch of iron and probably go ahead and upgrade this first run so they don't destroy it all. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all of this to stone. Actually let's do a test fit. So you want to make sure they're a little bit higher than you because the leads are tall. And I think we're actually going to change this. I think we're going to come a little bit wider. I think I made a mistake not doing this. So I'm going to rip all this back down and go wider. And by wider what I mean is Go ahead and extend it out this way.
Okay, so we've got the base expanded all the way up here with a path for them to follow. And they should come straight here. After, If they can make it through all the traps, they should go around the entire <laughs> layout all the way back to the front and then around this long side to try to come up those stairs behind us. And we can slowly start building traps across all this, upgrading it all to metal. We went ahead and took most of this front section to metal. I put in some fencing to get the fences higher. I added these front walls and I need to put power on these front traps because they're getting to where they run out too fast. So we went ahead and broke down that giant T we had here running power to those guns. So I'm going to have to repower those eventually. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Uh, with the new batteries and everything, we should be good. I need to technically upgrade this too. So we need two electronic circuits. Let's go grab those. And the reason we want to upgrade this is to make sure that it won't burn out. And this way I can put out more power. And then I'm going to run cables off of this. So what we could do is technically you can run one cable and then you can daisy chain all of these together. The problem with that is if the one, say you, say you put power on that front one and then you bounce off of it to the rest. If that front one gets destroyed, then it'll break power on the rest of them, which is it's okay to an extent because then the battery cells will take over and they'll get their 200 spins still. But I'm going to run one individual cable, pull it per output socket from here, and that should be enough to get our front couple of traps powered up. I might need to put a staircase in here temporarily too. All right, so let's go ahead and plug these in. Let me see, where's the power on this? So like I said, then you could grab this output socket and go to the next one and run all the way through them. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've had bad experiences doing that, so let's go ahead and get some stairs so we can run back and forth. It's going to take a second. Can I jump and grab that? Are you going to you gonna do me like that, game? Oh, no, I can grab the walls. Then let's see. So if I grab there, jump there... Okay, that'll work. <laughs> a little bit of acrobats to get around. So that's on the shredder. Let's go ahead and do this front one over here. Wait, did I not? What did I just power? I wonder if I just powered something down. Alright, well that's going to the input. So we'll just grab this input here and run it up. I swear that's the one we just put one on there, unless I missed it. Maybe it was still existing from the, the guns that were on it. Okay, let's see, so for this one... In case you're wondering the shelf I put here, it's going to be for flamethrowers so that we can light this area up with flame to help do some more damage. Alright, so now all of our shredders should be powered up. From there we're gonna we'll put it on uh let's see we've got ten slots total. I guess we can go ahead and try to power up at least these front three. Hopefully our batteries can hold out for that long. <laughs> Let me see, can we well actually we don't we wanna leave two slots for the flamethrowers because I'm gonna put them on the same circuit. Actually, we just need one because I'm going to switch and then I'll daisy chain the two of those together. So we'll grab this one, make our way back down. Get that powered up. Let's grab this input. I do want to do the four spikes, but that'll be later once we get more power hooked up, more batteries. Really got to get the guns and stuff up and running. <laughs> Okay, they're, they're not optimized at all for giants right now. All right, so that's good. We can do, let me see, you're not powered. Why are you showing reload? Oh, it's because this thing's switched off. So we can switch this on once the, the wave starts. Uh, right now with it being off should save us power. Because all this stuff's gonna drop a little bit of power while it's just on standby. And our batteries are still a little bit low just since we since we just upgraded them. Oh, they're doing pretty good. We've got three full charge batteries now. Hopefully the rest are still charging. <laughs> I'd like to see some green lights on these back ones. And we put another pendulum in here so it should knock them off 
and had them hit this and then they should fall down and then be able to rerun again. And there's enough space we should still be able to get the motorcycle out. As far as our other vehicles, we're going to have to play around and figure them out. And the tree farm's looking good, the garden's looking good. I do need to put some walls on this backside so I can shoot at giants without getting pulled off. And if I do that, we're going to... We're going to have issues with that. Uh... Yeah, okay, so what I'll probably do is build a bridge off of here. Or... I don't want to break the turbines and stuff down just yet. So we'll, for now, we'll probably just build a bridge off of here. And then we're going to have to move all of this. Because I need to wall this in for storage. So we'll probably build that second floor out here. And then put all this stuff on top of it. Because I don't think we're going to need to go much higher than this. At least not for a long time. <laughs> By then, hopefully, we just have enough guns that they really aren't running through the traps. Okay, so we need... I want to get I'd like to get the flamethrowers up but probably don't have time Let's see flamethrowers where are you at so for these we're gonna need two trans because I want to build two and we need two transistors and two trap machines and some more rebar you go ahead and see if we can build this out so for bridges that's located under stairs it's a really good way to get places if you just need like a straight path So that should work. Hopefully we have enough materials we can take it up. Okay, so we can use this as a gun platform to help weaken the giants when they come until we get the guns fully situated the way we want them. And we don't we won't use the flamethrowers a lot because they, they're really expensive to run. Right, two transistors and hopefully we have enough of trap motors. Let me see if we have any gears stored. There we go. Let's grab this. So we're running out of iron. Need a little bit of rebar. And trap machines right here. And I also need to build a switch. So we're just going to build a standard switch. Which needs duct tape and a switch. <laughs> And what I normally do is I put my switches and stuff on the wall right here so I can watch and as as we need to add or like more damage in we can just flip the switch. So let's build that right here. Actually kind of go center with it. I'd like to upgrade it too so for that we'll need an electronic circuit. And we might have to put a wall right here because they might try to use that little corner. So I put a door up on the building at the bottom so they won't try to take the in interior stairs. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade this to make sure it can hold the power draw. And let's deactivate it. And then let's go ahead and jump down here. Alright, so we're going to place the flamethrower there. Now what's good about these is they can go, if you look at them, they're on a swivel. They can go up and down and left and right. I just need them to go up and down. <laughs> so if I have the mats, I'd like to actually put a half wall in to keep to try to keep them from crossing f flames over as much. So let's go ahead and demolish these stairs. They're going to be in the way. And half wall. Because you can use the walls to kind of directionally control the fire or the the, the lanes of fire. All right, that's up to metal. Let me see, do we upgrade all these yet? No, I ran out of small stone. But I went and got some more, so let's go ahead and take these up because they're about to break. And this is how you want to do your base, is you want to work from the front and back. So don't add all your good stuff on the back side because if you can stop them here, that's where you want to do. I went ahead and had to demolish that foundation that I placed here because they're crossing to these stairs to come straight at me. Uh, we'll get it back up once we get the trap that we plan to put there built. Uh, I think we just don't have the materials right now to get that and I don't have the time to power it up. It's going to take a lot of batteries and a lot of power because we're going to put 
Let me see where they're at. Yeah, we're going to put these down, the plasma shockers. I'm going to put one on either side. Man, like I said, they draw a ton of power, so you have to have everything max upgraded. Running to them, and then you need... Uh, I don't know how many batteries. I'm probably going to put three each for now. All right, so from here, let's get our power tool back out. Uh, what, are we at a, I think we're out of cable. Yeah, okay, we need to get some more electrical cable. Okay, so yeah, our back batteries are still charging. <laughs> that should be enough, though. I think until uh, about day 30 should be in decent shape all right so they're coming in now the wave just started we have to pay attention for giants like i said that stuff's not ready on the back side and these front guns aren't even powered now okay so let's come over here grab this output socket to this input grab this output we're gonna hit this input on the back of this flamethrower if I can see it. Grab the output off of this one and put it on the input of this one. Now eventually, like I said, we do need to get, <laughs> we do need to spread this stuff out a little bit more. That's a lot of powered up items on a f just a few batteries. All right, so the flamethrowers are still technically useless because they need fuel. So we can grab some. I've got a couple of stacks in here. I don't want to right click because I want to keep the stack split. So we'll grab Let's grab two fulls each. Like I said, it's just to soften them up a bit. And then we're gonna actually want to shut this door. Oh, I can't. Can I not walk through here? Let's close this one and close this one just to be safe. Problem is now they're probably gonna go crazy because they can't get to me. Yep. <laughs> so let's get back over here. Should straighten them out in a second. All right, why are you running that way? I need you to come this way. Okay, we need to be careful. I'm gonna try to reload these. In a minute, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> but as you can see, the waves got a lot thicker. Try to keep an eye on the back side because that should be where the giants come from. And see, now they can't hit us with their logs. They can't poison us. They can't hurt us from right here. And if you wanted to, you can build railings. You don't have to build half walls. I just like half walls. You see the railings that are fencing. So you, you can set those up too. And they work about the same. And you can see we're getting new types of elites because we're getting farther along. So <laughs> like that one right there can jump. It can shoot its little tendrils out of its body at you and they'll get, they'll just keep adding on more and more every five days or so you'll see new mob types coming out and you can tell when the flamethrowers are on you'll see a pilot light in front of them all right i think we're calm enough let's try it so you're gonna hit f to load them just right click put a stack in there same thing here and let's make sure these are actually working with power they are not oh yeah that's because the thing's still turned off Okay, and th those guys are mad right now because they can't reach me because I went to a spot that they can't walk to. So what we can do is turn this on, see if we get any explosions. How did that guy just run right through all that? Oh, I know why. It's it's because we're on this right here because it's turned on for... So we're going to have to take it off of this circuit actually and just run it straight to this. Uh, I'm going to turn this off for a second. <laughs> We're going to get overran in a minute. But yeah, so the, the trap controller was pretty much saying, hey guys, <laughs> we, only, we only hurt giants. So it, it's keeping all the traps from firing off. That was my bad. So what we need to do is I need to actually take this off. Uh, let's see, how much do we have any cabling left? Or do I need to go make some? And we're like max distance running to the batteries from there. I guess we can turn the big guns off for now. So this is why you want to like work your stuff slowly but surely up. Oh. oh, there's a giant on the front now. Look at that. You'll see that guy coming at us. Of course, as soon as my guns aren't up, we get a giant. So let's... Oh, I can't make that jump. Can I? Oh, nope. That was, that was dumb. Uh, we gotta get, we gotta get this giant off the front gates. He'll he'll rip through everything. Oh nope! Oh, I might have just killed myself. Ow 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 ow! ow. Free me! Free me! Run run! <laughs> uh, the, did not expect the giant to come. We just had one yesterday. I thought we were gonna be s safe. 
Okay, so let's get back into here. I guess we'll just leave this door open so they can path properly while I try to figure out what we're going to do about this giant. Well, I guess I can probably hit him from over here. Maybe I can build a bridge out. That might be the best idea. Tipping a bridge. Now, doing this, we're going to have to be careful because those guys that uh, can pull us in can reach us. So let's go ahead and get our gun out, and we're going to have to light this guy up. I'd like to get down here and do I have battery cells on me? Probably not. But here he comes. Alright, good, he's dead now. <laughs> uh because I really don't want to turn these this on just because I don't want to waste my bullets for my machine guns on the back. I don't want them shooting all the small zombies. I want all the research data we can get. And we don't have enough cabling on us right now to pull all this apart and move everything, so I have to wait until the wave's over. So let's grab some battery cells, and we're going to have to risk it to try to get down there and recharge our shredders. I'm glad everything's upgraded to metal, though, because the log guys can destroy the stone stuff pretty fast. Oh, and they're trying to rip us off, so... <laughs> Need to be careful right here until we get more walls and traps up. I mean, that's probably what we'll do. I'll probably build like a little fighting spot right here. Like I did on my main save. Now, can I reach that from here? Oh, he got me. That's not good. That's not good. And we're stuck. Oh, we're probably going to die right here. Whew. <laughs> like I said, we got to get this thing polished out because I cannot keep getting ganked like that. Luckily I repaired our armor or we'd have died almost instantly right there. But as you can see the pathing is working really well. I know we've got a couple more thick waves coming in so we need to, I'm gonna have to get these kind of charged up a little bit. Let me see if we can't get down here with them. It's pretty dangerous but <laughs> it's better than getting them to overrun and destroy the whole base. Alright perfect. Everything's charged back up. Still good on our four traps, except for this one. Just remember, hour two is usually when the worst wave comes. Now then, I need cabling so we can fix this other issue. Okay, let's get our tool back out. Okay, so from here, we're coming off the output right there. And this one's going to... What are you landing on? You're landing on the first battery? Yeah? Yeah. And take all this off. Make sure there's not another giant coming. Of course, they're gonna come from the front. That once I take everything down and apart, it's like the game's like, oh, <laughs> you want to be unsecured? We're gonna, we got something for that. Now then, see if we can reach that battery. Probably not. Probably gonna put it in a four wall socket. Most definitely. Well, what we can do with that is we can tap it off of this other one. It's not currently in use. And then we'll grab it here and put it here. And now we should be able to turn everything on. Well, actually, it should just automatically be on. Let's, let's turn the flamethrowers on and see if we have power. Yep, there we go. Everything's powered up now. And let's deactivate because we don't need that. And if we look at these pendulums that we powered up, you can see that they don't need to be reloaded anymore. 
And again, that's how you can tell that it's powered. So unlimited uses until it's destroyed or we run out of battery power. And the flamethrowers are amazing in my opinion. I really like them a lot. They put in a ton of work. So with that, the wave is over. I'm sure we've got some stragglers coming in. I can still hear that guy that sounds like he's in my base. Let's take a look and see. Ah, you're stuck under there. Ow. Oh, that's an elite. Uh, ow, quit. What is with my fighting? I know we just upgraded skills, so maybe I'm just a little bit faster. So since he got stuck right there, what we can do... Demo these two and we'll make them solid, and that'll keep them from getting stuck under here. And we'll just leave that one... Are these two in ones open? So let me gather up this loot. And probably gonna call it quits on this episode because as we've gone over a lot of stuff. So we've upgraded the base to metal, we've added in actual power onto traps. We put in walls. We survived ooh, speaking of that, we survived a giant. Let's see if he dropped us anything good. Before I forget that his bag's over here. But yeah, this has been a really productive episode. So we did gardening, we've done tree farming, we upgraded everything, we extended the base and made room for more traps. So if they ever do get through this front side, we'll be in good shape. I really want to get the tank built and get us into the cold zone. But like I said, we're waiting on the farm, tree farms and the gardens, which they might be ready now. Let me see, do we get any good research data? And at this point, you're going to want to start checking on your foundations and your traps, making sure they're fully repaired because they'll start getting hung up on them. So let's go take a look at our tree farms and see how they're doing. Make sure I've got some space. Probably not. Yeah, we need to make a little bit more inventory space. And if you're wondering, you can still drive the motorcycle through all this. So that's what I do is I pull up the stairs and drive all the way down here and I drive out the back door. <laughs> so that makes life easy. Now let's throw a bunch of stuff in here for now. All right, so you, you can see now we have the option to take all and harvest. And let's check on the trees. They're also ready. So if we press F as in harvest, we can see what it's going to give us. Like here, we're going to get apple, branches, leaves, logs, rubber resin, and seeds. So this is going to make life a lot easier. But I'm just going to press take all. And what we're looking for again on the tree side is we're hoping to get a couple of pairs. There, we just got three pairs, so that's good. Uh, let's check our inventory space because we're getting lots of logs. You know, make sure you have upgraded inventory for this. And like I said, this is going to help with the seed issue and branches. Like it. <laughs> it just makes gathering a lot easier. Right, I'm gonna let that calm down for a second and then we'll and you can use your leaves now, now that we're not making more flower beds we can start using those to make research data so we can catch up on all of our books. Now we got a ton of stuff. <laughs> let me see do a sort. So we've got almost 3,000 leaves now. We didn't get that much research data surprisingly only 563 but we'll make a bunch. All right, so we'll do a take all there and I can show you like kind of what we're getting here. So here you can get like zucchini garlic, carrot, potatoes, cabbage, you can get red cabbage, sweet potatoes, a ton of seeds, so you see we got here 12 seeds. So that's gonna let us keep all of our traps for animals running and let us replant all these. The only thing is we need natural pesticides, so we're gonna have to get, make more manure to make the natural pesticide to replant these. All right, let's go see if we have what we need to make a hot drink. All right, so we, if we come over here to the cooking station, and we go to the third tab over under here is hot drink and that's what we're wanting to make it's plus 100 percent cold resistance for 12 hours plus 10 hit points uh, we can actually make uh, nine of these it looks like so that's really nice we're actually gonna go ahead and do that so let's just craft that and now we're ready to go to the cold zone uh, i still want to build a tank before we go though so we have inventory space i've never really looted much there so if we take the tank we should be in great shape for that which I do believe I have the materials to build one now, or I did until <laughs> until we do all the power grids. But before we head that way, I'm also going to go ahead and rearrange our power situation here, and we need to get a bunch of guns back up because I th I want to say by day 20 we, we might start seeing two, three giants, and if they split from the front and the back, we won't have time to fight on both sides. So I'll probably double or triple layer the gates on the back. I'm not too worried about the front since we're always watching it. All right, so from there, let's see if we can't do a little bit of research. I'm trying to remember, what do I make research data? I haven't crafted that in a long time. Okay, so it's right here, second tab over. Uh, it's 10 leaves per data, so let's go ahead and just K 
cap that out. Right, so we made two batches of that. We see do have inventory space. A little bit low. Let's uh, store all this wood that we just got from our tree farm. And then we, the next episode we'll probably get into coils. Just so I can free my space back up because <laughs> they're taking up all my chest space. Alright, that looks good. Let's pull our books out and see what we can get done. Alright, so again, not worried about car thief. So we'll jump over to skills. Uh, solenoid. We, I mean, so the radio right here, that's just, that's end game. We're not worried about that. I'm playing for fun. I'm Like if I wanted to beat the game, we could have done that a long time ago. Alright, uh, let's see. What do we want to go for here? Kind of want to go for vehicle engineer. And then we need this Cold War technology. It's in the underground tunnel. Underground tunnel. Okay, so yeah, I know where that's at. That's uh, It's going to be a fun one to get to. We'll have, <laughs> it's going to be an actual journey for that one. I don't really care about the MRL ammo and all and those things at the moment. The solenoid, how much are you? We need a book for you. Okay, where's that book at? Okay, that's the psych hospital that's down the street. Right from there, let's see, can we do any combat? Just to make life easier. We can't, we're too poor. <laughs> now these are good stats too here. Uh, don't get me wrong, these are attack stamina usage. So we'll go ahead and do that one. Um, the higher you get these, the easier it is to fight because you won't run out of stamina as much. Same thing with like runner. That increases movement speed. I, I like having that. So we just need to read more research data. Can we make any enough to do anything else? I'm getting pretty low. And that's all we have. Let me see. I said I wanted to, I wanted to do movement speed so we can move a little bit faster. And I'd really like to get into some of these other ones. Stamina regeneration would be nice. Senior fighter. But for now, that's all we have, guys. Uh, I'm going to get all the books stored back up. We're probably going to need to... Do we need leaves to make more pesticides? We need more. We do need to get more herbs. We're really low on those. And we do need more leaves. So I'll have to go cut down a bunch of... Well, I probably won't cut down trees. I'll probably just cut the little bushes. But besides that, guys, as always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification if you want to see more updates on this game. We're going to keep going. Uh, I'm not sure how far we're going to go, but we still have more books to collect. We have more things to build vehicle-wise. And again, you can see the traps. They don't need to be recharged. They're good to go. But besides that, I'll catch you on the next episode where hopefully we get the tank built and start getting ready to head into the cold zone.